Okay, so Taurus, let's get started. We're starting with the past. And it will be with the emperor. Now the emperor, in the past, you may have found yourself falling for someone who is or was older than you. Okay, that person was likely to be uh, attracted to order, logic, and organization, a very organized person. And always, they always thought logically and practical. That attraction may not have been mutual from the very start, but I'm seeing that if you were patient and persistent, it was likely to grow pretty fast. Or if they, or it could have been, if they were patient and persistent with you, it was, it was growing really fast. All right, so you knew that fireworks at the beginning, or they knew at the beginning, if there were fireworks between the two of you, in the beginning of the relationship, it was all good, but maybe you you asked yourself how long would the fireworks last for? So you were always thinking in the back of your head, how long could this this last? So a slow burning connection was likely to far outlast the fireworks. Now that card is page with the high priestess. Okay, so in the past, magical, mystical time of love for anyone interested in love is basically what the high priestess is about. If you were, if you're a woman, you may well have found people literally throwing yourselves at you in the past. Now, the problem with that is you were probably, probably attracting good and bad. And it's not always easy to tell which is which or you were having a hard time trying to figure out which is which you also it looks like you also had the power of femininity or masculinity if you're male at your disposal at that time in the past and at first glance that may seem great so that's basically your past. Okay, so let's move on to the present. Now the present, we start with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, with the Five of Pentacles is not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to love questions, unfortunately. It may have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way you you think they should? So let's see, it looks like it may be that you need to stop fantasizing about that person entirely, okay? So I'm showing that this card can be a very much a card about feeling left out in the cold. So it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be that we can be with and have a soul level happy meaningful relationship so just remember that they're not the only person okay that we can have a great relationship with so when love is right you don't have to do flips to make it work so basically what you need to do is broaden your horizons and try hard to think positively. You're not in an unlovable, you're not an unlovable troll. 
You're not a troll, you're a beautiful person. So there's other prospects out there. Now that card is paired with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is an excellent card with regards to love, okay? Let's see. I'm showing that if you are currently committed, it looks like you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And then it looks like it's showing that if you're unattached and looking, this card tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be a new meaningful deep love could be headed your way very soon, Taurus. So smile. The world loves a lover. And with these two cards paired together, and it's your present. So this is this is great. It's like I said, it's a happy indicator when it comes to love with the five of pentacles. You probably got your eyes on someone or someone's got their eyes on you already and basically with the nine of pentacles you can you definitely can expect a relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy and keep in mind that's the present now let's go on to the challenge okay now the challenge would be the page of pentacles so if you're in a committed relationship, when this card appears, it may have lost some of its luster. All right? So that's one thing, all right? If it's lost some of its luster, that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean the worst, okay? It doesn't mean like this. it's the death of a relationship, but it does mean that action and discussion it's very necessary. So to create change, you need to be honest about how you're feeling. Okay, so if it looks like if you are unattached and cannot seem to meet someone new, look carefully at what you're holding in your heart. You may still be attached to an ex, or someone from the or relationship from the past and you may need to let that go before you can expect to move forward and let new love in okay now that was with the page of Pentacles which is paired with the temperance card now with the temperance card often before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships you need to have peace with yourself look at what you feel guilty about, mistakes that you feel you've made in your past, then make sure to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself from, from the past. Let them go. It's the only way you can truly make progress. So, once again, that's going to be a challenge in... These two cards paired together are basically saying, okay, it's basically saying to create change, you must be honest about how you're feeling in relationships. So communication is necessary. And with the temperance card, it looks like It looks like to remember to have peace peace with yourself. Don't hold on to any past mistakes or any past hurts that you've had in relationships before. You need to forgive yourself so that this new love can come in. Okay, now we're going to move on to the outcome. Now, in the outcome, we start with the Six of Cups. Okay, now the six, with the Six of Cups, if you're currently in a romantic relationship, this card can indicate that a relationship may need to be refocused towards the future. 
So talk about your goals and dreams with your partner. You want to try new things. So it's important now to be stuck. It's important now not to be stuck in the past. On occasions, this card can signify the reappearance of an old lover in your life. Think long and hard before restarting an old romance. Exes are usually exes for a reason. And then we have this card paired with the Ten of Cups. If you are worrying about a romantic relationship with the Ten of Cups coming up, it's basically, basically saying, it's showing that it's a clear indicator that maybe you really don't have anything to worry about. That's what it looks like, okay? You and your beloved one or you and your lover are on the same page. I'm, sh I'm showing that in the cards. So if you're in a relationship but have not made a formal commitment and hope that it comes to pass, take heart now because it, it looks like it's coming. It looks like it's on its way. That's what it's showing in the cards. So don't sabotage, don't sabotage, sabotage things by causing problems where there aren't really any. So with these two cards paired together, uh, if you're thinking about starting an all romance, you might want to rethink that because exes are exes for a reason. And basically with the Ten of Cups paired with this card, the Six of Cups, don't sabotage things by causing problems because most likely there aren't any. Okay, so that would be your outcome. And I want to say, Taurus, I hope it's a great month for you. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.